Hey traders, John Howell here. All I want to say to you is this. Do not be sucked in by the fear in these markets because what is setting up right now could be an amazing buying opportunity for the rest of this year. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so um, one, let me, uh, oh, before I do start traders, um, I'm running a masterclass, webinar, whatever you wanna call it. I'm seeing so many people actually struggling in the markets because they're trading based off what they think, what they're fearful of, the headlines, um, and the, the tips and so on and so forth. The, the way you truly get ahead in the market is the way that, well, how I've done so well at, at a trading is I follow a system, I follow a process, right? I don't just get in because, I, because of a market update. I get in because of your system, because of a process. Um, you know, so when I do these market updates for you, I'm just, it's just a market update, right? It's not, I'm not trading based off a market update. I trade based off rules, off systems, and that's what's made me so successful. So um, I'm running a, uh, a masterclass today, and on that masterclass, I'm gonna share with you exactly what took me from losing $250,000 in debt, so if you're losing a lot of money, this is for you, to actually making money, I'm gonna share with you my number one trading strategy, so you can start to use it today. I'm also gonna share with you my scanning process, how I scan to find these trades, and how this strategy works on how I trade the crypto market, the mining um, stocks, and so on and so forth, how I apply my trading system to, to move forward. So go to johnsfreetraining.com, or there should be a link in the description, johnsfreetraining.com. Um, guys, please do that, okay, please, because I, was, I see so many people actually not doing well out of these markets, and it's just, they're, 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 they're freaking out. Anyway, on to the market update here. The thing is this, is that, um, I have seen, I've been trading the markets now for 17 years myself. And the one thing that I've seen time and time and time and time and time again is that we, that I see so many times that, especially at the start of the year, that we will get a correction and in, 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 we'll get a correction. And because there's so much fear and so much, so much stuff out there in the markets, we end up getting a correct, we, we, we get a correction, which is like 10 to 15%, you know, sometimes it, you know, a 10 to 15% correction. What are we on the S&P right now? Let's have a look at this here. So we went to, we went to down to as low as 15% right now. We're actually breaking down. We had another big, had another nice down day today um, on the S&P 500, right? So, but this is what the market does, right? We, we generally get a bit of a mock charge, a bit of a pullback in the markets. I'm telling you right now, the Fed is actually watching this. The Fed is gonna watch this. And what's happening right now is that we're starting to see things crumble underneath the surfaces. We're starting to see things really, 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 really pull back, which is actually a good thing, guys, okay? Which is a good thing. Don't be, remember, when the market is actually pulling back like this, this is the opportunity to stay calm and be doing your analysis to look for really good buying opportunities. Whether it's a trading system, if you're looking for an amazing trading system, then again, get over to johnsfreetraining.com and then I'll share with you my trading system and what I use to trade. Whether you're trading a one minute chart, futures, forex or whatever, um, it's stocks, you know, you, you can use that. But if you're looking for really good stocks to buy, uh, firstly, you gotta, know, you, gotta, you gotta know what to actually look for, right? Um, but the, 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 the next thing is that we're on this pullback here, right? This big pullback. I truly do see we're going to see an incredible, and incredible rally out of this. At once we finish this, this, uh, this, this pullback in the marketplace. And uh, remember, when you want to buy when people are fearful, and you want to sell when people are greedy. And right now, so many people are fearful in the marketplace. And so um, we are continuing to see a bit of a. Let me move this trend line here. We are seeing a, we are continuing to see this this thing actually come down and continue down through here. We're probably going to follow through tomorrow as well too. Um, looking at this here, which I actually hope, by the way, guys, I hope we get that. See the S and P continue down. We have a high, a lower high, a lower high. And I did a video yesterday saying, oh, this is actually not looking too good, guys, because we actually got a weak pullback. It's very strong down, very weak pullback, and now we get another lower high, and now we're breaking down again. Um, out of the S and P, and we're actually breaking to the downside. So, uh, if I'm looking at, uh, if I did, I did in yesterday's market update, I did some long term analysis, some long term trend lines. And if I let me blow this chart up, this is the S and P 500. If I go look at this, 
this chart here. Remember, this was the long. These are the long-term resistance lines, which I said we're we're probably likely to rally down to here to make the um to and if we if we do, one, <laughs> I'm I'm telling the kids, uh, <laughs> and two, it's like. It's, it's, it's probably going to be an incredible, incredible buying opportunity because these longer term major support levels will come into play. Remember traders, please remember this from, from, a, from, a, from a trading standpoint of view, okay? And what's happened in these markets. This is not, this is not the top in the markets before we see a major crash. This is not, this is just a correction. We go through this generally, even last year we went through this, right? Look at this last year, if we go back over time, we actually went through a bit of a shake and bake last year as well too. Uh, where are we here, right? Even look, look even through the end end of last year, right? Uh, end of end of last year, and then we had twenty twenty one. We even had these. Oh, we oh we actually we didn't actually did get we didn't actually get a lot of. Oh no, that that was actually the year before, right? We even got like we, we see how we get these pullbacks. This one here, five percent, six percent, so on and so forth. We generally get these. Um, the studies show at least once every two years, we get a deep correction. Um, and so, but this traders, this is not, this is not, if you look at this here, look what's happened. This is not the top in the markets. Please don't be thinking that. I know your mate, Harry Dent, your mate, Harry Dent, he's gonna come out and say, here we go, the crash is coming. I told you to get out. I told you it's gonna be right. And then guess what's gonna happen? The market's gonna rally to all the time new highs. You're gonna be like, blah, 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 blah. What, what the hell happened just there? Okay, we've had a very nice move up overall. Now look what's happening. This was probably gonna happen here. And then and we've got a reset, which is the market just a pullback here. And then away we go. Okay, this is not the top of the market. This is the overall picture, okay, traders? This is the weekly chart we're looking at right now. So if we do continue to pull back, remember there's a major long-term levels of support. So around that 4,000 level, around that 4,000 level is probably going to be a significant support in the markets. But this is not the top of the markets, traders. Um, th this actually gets me really excited because there's so many stocks that are being sold off right now that when 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 we do find the bottom, which no one knows exactly when that's definitely going to be, the market will give us some sort of clue, okay? Um, it could be now, like we could even, uh, I'm not saying we're going to, I, I believe we're going to continue down, but we'll see what happens here. We're definitely rolling over. But we could even hold here, tomorrow do this and then start to and then start to move back to the upside like that and then what create a higher low gives us gives us a bottoming pattern so we have to wait and see what actually happens with there but this is going to be an amazing incredible opportunity for you okay please stay calm be patient and do your analysis look through the stocks do be patient and go through because there's individual stocks that are going to set up there's just for some incredible 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 moves and it's going to be a slingshot pattern we're getting sold off right now because there's so much fear and so much in the marketplace. But you watch this slingshot pattern. By the end of this year, I have a target of you know five and a half thousand on the on the S and P five hundred. Um, actually, no, my my ultimate aggressive target is six thousand. <laughs> I know it's not looking too good, is it? <laughs> but remember, we are just in the start of March. Anything can happen by the end of this year, right? So I have uh, I see this thing racing up to all time new highs by the end of this year. So please don't be, so I know a lot of people are like, oh my goodness, all right? And even, even the fearing, even the fear and greed, right? This is the fear and greed. Um, oh, I'm looking at some new, new trading monitors. Do any, any of you guys recommend any different trading monitors? Right now I'm using a 29 inch widescreen and then I'm using a 49 inch sort of like uh, TV. I use two screens for my trading. But look what's happening here on the fear and greed index. Oh my goodness, guys. It's almost getting time. Santa Claus Santa Claus came early today. <laughs> he came late last year, but he's coming early this year. Um, and look at this here, guys. Remember, traders, buy when people are fearful, sell when people are greedy. Look what's happening now. We're getting below here. Um, we get any more downside, guess what's going to happen? This thing's going to be down here, and it's going to be a buying opportunity. And then you watch the slingshot pattern. It's coming. I believe that, that I, I'm actually hoping there's actually more downside to come. And I believe there's more downside to come. But with that, guess what? With that, I do I do see that we're probably likely to start to get um, a, it's a really good buying opportunity out of these um, in the marketplace here. So let's go have a look at uh, the NASDAQ as well too. NASDAQ really, and I, I actually did a video based on this. I said, hi, traders, look at this here. High, 
lower high. And I said the market actually rejected off that line. So that's actually not looking too good. Let me take that off the screen there. And so therefore, it looks like it's going to start to roll over. Also, the Dow Jones as well too. So actually with the Dow Jones, look at this here with the Dow Jones. I just found a trend line from this major high point to this major high point through here. Look at this here. So it's really interesting, right? All I connected from that high in 2018, this high in 2020 had a collection of sort of support levels through here. And then the market came down and look at this here, bounce. Look at where it bounced. And now we're coming back down to that level again. So we're coming back down to this level here again. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens around these levels here. Um, on the uh on on the dow jones but we are starting to get a, a definite a definite sort of uh sort of strong rollover through here um uh, in the uh, on the dow jones um yeah so that, that's that's what i wanted to share with you there um looking at the gold and silver index uh let's go have a look at the let's have a look at gold first once again guys uh gold gold has continued to have a move up the thing with gold traders is that um, one, we're, we're, we're probably racing to all-time new highs. It may even continue there. We will get some sort of a pullback, okay, traders? This thing's not going to go from here to 3,000. I have a 3,000 target on 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 gold, but we will get some sort of strong pullback. It's it's, it's it, Nothing just goes straight up. And if it does go straight up, you want to be very weary because every time the market goes vertical like it did here, guess what happens? You get a very strong, sharp snapback. So, um, so we will get some sort of a pullback soon. Uh, it may even rally up to all time, all time new highs here and then pull back. And then I see this thing really making a big run. And then this thing just going absolutely just crazy. Uh, 3000. Uh, but then also, also on the, on, on, on the back of, on the back of what's all, what's all happening here. A lot of people are saying to me, um, oh, I'm long gold right now. Traders, one thing you understand is that I do my short term TA on the markets, but there's two major positions I've always been in. I've always been long the stock market. Or should I long the S&P 500. I've been long the S&P 500 for now well over 12 months. So I'm still good with that. Um, so I'm still long the S&P 500. I'm long gold. I've been long, guys, I've been long gold for since 2019. So yeah, all right. And, and then I and then I added some more through 2021. So, um, so I'm long the S&P 500. Uh, and that's still doing really well ever since I got into that. Again, well over 12 months ago. Um, and then I'm still in gold, so I'm actually long. Now these are investing positions, right? I'm, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to time the markets. And then also I'm in the GDXJ. Now I'm actually underwater on the GDXJ because I got in. I got in back here in late 2020. Um, so I'm actually under the water on on this one here. But again, this is more of an investing position because I see these things making very big moves. I just didn't know when. So. I must understand traders. When I do some short-term TA, this is that's what the market's telling me. I'm talking short-term TA, but my longer-term positions, I've always been, I've always been long gold. I've always had a major position in gold and a major position in this because I believe the long-term outlook. And I've always said that if anyone had a gun to my head and I had to buy something, what would it be? And it'd be the GDXJ. Hence the reason why I have, have um, a position in that. And uh, and I still see this thing. Look at this weekly chart on the GDXJ. This thing has had a very weak pullback. You wait to this, you, traders, I believe we're on the verge of seeing this thing just absolutely just going crazy. Absolutely just nuts when it comes to the GDXJ, right? So get ready for, I believe, for what, what I believe is going to be, this is like, this is like going to be like a bit of a springboard. We had a strong move up. Look at this very weak pullback. Look, look at that. Look how weak that is. Look what's coming. You know what's coming, guys? That's what's coming. Um, and I, I, I see this thing going to all time new highs when it comes to the GDXJ. So get ready for an incredible, an incredible move. But remember traders, remember, look where we, look what's happening now on the GDXJ. We've had a very nice move up already. Um, in, in, we just had a very, very, very nice move up here. So, um, there will be pullbacks along the way. Okay. So just, just remember that. Anyway, so let's go have a look at silver. Silver's actually found, um, silver had a very strong move to the upside. We actually poked our head back above here, but now we're actually getting, uh, we're, actually, we're actually sort of holding through here. So, um, which is actually, it's actually starting to get a bit, bit of a stronger sign um, that we're starting to change the trend. We actually had a bit of a double bottom here, bottom. So we had this one bottom here, one bottom here, and then a double top. So this thing's probably gonna get up to towards these highs up here around that 30 year old level, I believe. Um, 
But what's probably likely to happen here, and what you want to watch, what you want, what you want to watch out for is, let me bring up a, a chart here. We're probably likely to pull back a little bit. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to trade based off this, right? But we're probably going to pull back off this. Man, doesn't that look good? Um, actually, I traded it back there. Um, so we can see we had a very big move up. Um, so what I would like to see is to see silver actually a bit, bit of a pullback and then actually see silver go for a nice move uh, up as well too. And once again, you can see what's happening here on there. Uh, GDX, same sort of thing. Uh, I said once we actually break past 35, then we're probably gonna make our way back up to $40. That's, that's been my target. I did say also that I would like to see this thing pull back a little bit like here. Uh, da, da, da. Right, I'd like to see this thing pull back a little bit, maybe let the 52 catch up and then have a bit of a breakout. That would have been perfect for me for a trading opportunity. Um, but it didn't do that, just, <laughs> it just kept going up. Um, so uh, so that's what's happening right now on there. Again, guys, the worst time to buy something is when it's already going up um, in the, so don't, don't be trying to jump on things like oil right now uh, and some, some even some of the some of the big some of the big um, things what you want to do you always want to buy in after a pullback you want to jump in anything jump in after a pullback because you never know when this after the market goes for a run it goes for pullbacks you never know when the top is going to be in uh, let's go have a look at the uh, the GDXJ the SIL as well too SIL has come up and hit that resistance level there as well too so very 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 strong uh, hit resistance very strong move in the upside and the SIL, where'd you go to SIL? There we are there. Right, the SIL. The SIL is just starting to break out now. The interesting thing about the SIL is, one, we're actually just starting to break out out of this trend line. Uh, let's have a look at this here. Actually, you know let me just go to a blank chart because we don't need the moving average on there. Let's go to daily. Let's squeeze you up a little bit. Right, yeah, we probably had something through there. All right, bit of a squeezing a pattern, bit of a squeezing pattern through there. Anyway, um, we yeah we're 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 actually breaking up. So let me just take that off the screen there. So we're actually starting to break up now. We've got a very strong high low. We're getting a lot of volume. See this cluster of volume. Uh, we've had pretty much low volume, but now we're getting a very 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 big cluster of volume through here. The interesting thing about the SIL that I like. Um, and I've been talking about the SIL now. The SIL is probably going to catch up to what the other ones are done. Because if you look at this here, right? This is the this is the SIL and it's still near the bottom. If we go to the SILJ and look what's happened. We've actually we've actually already had a very big move up towards its highs up here. The GDX, same thing. The GDXJ, same thing. So the SIL is nowhere near. This is, if you draw a trend line, right? This is where all the other SILJ, GDX, GDX, this is where they're there. So this is probably going to start to play catch up. I remember this here, traders. I remember, let's have a look at this here, wheat. I was, I was watching the commodity sector last year with some of my private clients. And I was telling them um, that I, I saw wheat. And let me actually bring up this weekly chart here. And you can see what's happening here with wheat now. I said to them, I said, you know what, traders? I said, that I'm seeing everything just go absolutely just bonko, right? When it comes to the commodity sector, we're talking soybeans. Um, uh, let's let's have a look at this here, right? So we can see here that I saw like corn. Corn actually had a very big move up. Soybeans had a very big move up. Uh, sugar actually had a very big move up. But we had all these very big, 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 big moves up, right? In in um in a lot of the commodity prices. But if I go have a look at if I go have a look at, at the wheat price, the wheat actually really was still near its lows, right? So wheat was down here last year. And I said to her, I said, I believe wheat is going to have a, have a severe catch up to the other commodity sector. And that's exactly what we got. It actually took a lot longer than I thought. But as you can see, we've continued to make higher lows all the way up. Then we had a break. And then the thing actually had a big move up as well from there. So that's what I believe is going to happen when it comes to uh, when it comes to the SIL, we're starting to get that high low right now. We're getting a very good strong um, support level there. Um, and now we're getting a bit of a, a nice nice volume through here. We're starting to break up as well too. So I do see that SIL, SIL is probably going to make a very nice move, very strong move to catch up to all the other sectors uh, in the commodities and also like you know the, the gold and silver mining sector. Traders, I want to invite you to my webinar that I'm running today. 
And on this webinar, I'm going to share with you all the details to my number one trading system for the last 17 years and how I only trade one hour per day. Plus, also going to be learning the three secrets that I had to master over the last 17 years to generate a really good income. If you go to John's free training.com or there should be a link in the description click on that go over there right now register if you are struggling with the trading right now i promise you this is going to completely game change because you're going to understand you're going to understand why you are going backwards and why you're losing money and then i'm going to teach you exactly what the system i use that gets me a really high percent win loss ratio so this is what i want you to do right now go to johnsfreetraining.com go over there register for my webinar right now today because you're going to absolutely love it or there should be a link in the description and i look forward to seeing you on the webinar so go to that right now and I look forward to seeing you on my next webinar go to that right now go to johnsfreetraining.com go to that right now